and I do want to say that for those of you who uh, still want to do something really fun, there's a lot of really cool events happening. Um, I need to probably pull some up, so maybe you can pull some up for me. But uh, we do have tonight, just above the Pasadena Playhouse, I'm going to a sort of ode to the anti-Valentine's Day. Um, above Pasadena Playhouse, there is a small theater, and there's a play called Jane Austen's, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Sorry, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. But um, it goes on at 8 o'clock, and it's through April 14th, I believe, unless they extended it. So I will get you all the information um, after our next break. But there are so many good things happening around the city, and if you haven't gotten a chance to go explore, I really encourage you. And for those of you who are listening in Brazil, in Canada, in Germany, in France, in Switzerland, um, thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, it means the world to me to have you guys here with me. And I'm glad that I get to bring you such great things like our performers today. It's going to be amazing music and just beautiful and soulful. And you will feel very sexy when it's all said and done. So um, before, again, we just, I'm going to hand it over to them in just two seconds. But I want to say that um, I know some of you out there may not like this day either. But just realize that today is really not just about the romance side of it. Be grateful for all the people in your life and your friends and all the cool people that you get to love and hang out with. And it's kind of that basic, simple concept. So sometimes we need to strip away all the expectations and just chill. So um, I encourage you to please do that. So I am going to pass it over to you, Shauna. You can go ahead. And say hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. <laughs> so first of all, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and the band and some of the music that you guys are going to be playing for us. Um, well, I, uh, I I used to be in a project called Bittersweet, which is how you mm -hmm. discovered me. Yes. Um, I'll have to tell the story, I guess, on the air. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, we did a really neat mix of electronica and kind of some old classic nostalgic um, an ode kind of to the 40s and 50s in a certain way mm -hmm. mixed and blended in with some electronic beats and uh, got to tour the country several times and put out records and we had a lot of success with film and TV and since then uh, I've been touring with uh, Nouvelle Vogue and Thievery Corporation and collaborating with a lot of different incredible artists from like System of a Down to like all kinds of oh, wow. I just really love music I have a lot of amazing friends and so we just love to collaborate and now I'm just working on my own stuff so yes and you have um they're actually going to be playing a song on that's actually available for purchase on iTunes right now yeah it's from our uh paper butterfly EP mm -hmm. and it's on Amazon and iTunes and in some stores and all that jazz so this this song is the title song from so that if you guys want to go ahead I just want to say really quick before you do start thank you so much for being here it really does mean a lot to me and, and I will explain the importance of how awesome it is that you're actually here um, in just a minute but thanks Carol Sue I will say that on the air and Harold <laughs> <laughs> okay so go ahead Sun is shining, and I can taste the memories of those breezy days. No commitment, only play. And how I miss your sweet, sweet way. I won't feel sad now, I won't behave. I'll just enjoy the streamy space. One step closer to the end of what was once our innocence. Oh, take some time to float with me. Move like paper butterflies over empty sea. There's plenty you could live without. But just remember, remember me. Where the time go, life is short. I'm not a fan of getting older. We'll write new stories, let love prevail, and dream about those tales. Oh, 
paint the sky a shade of red Fill our cups with golden flowers Keeping our souls fed There's plenty you could live without But just remember, remember me Just remember, remember me. Just remember, remember. Oh, yes, remember. Remember me. <laughs> So that's available, you guys, for purchase right now. So please go get it. Hi. So let me ask you, um, is my mic, my mic back on? Okay. Um, what is your, I mean, I know you guys have obviously a range and you, you play with different people, I think, regularly, right? You're doing something later today and, and you've collaborated with other artists. And I do think that now that's sort of the beauty of the way I feel like a music's evolved is a lot of people are working together and there's so many I mean even on the radio it's all airplay and it's all collaboration which is really cool because then you don't get bored I feel like musically there's always something new happening and um so since you transitioned and you're doing your own thing now like what would you say has been sort of your favorite part of this process because it's exploring a new sound and a new voice and yeah, it's been a it's been an interesting journey because after Bittersweet, I definitely kind of you know I went into like the electro world and the dance world and that was kind of it made sense coming out of that group mm -hmm. to try that on and um, I'm finding now that after everything I've kind of experienced in the last few years that I'm getting right back to my my core mm -hmm. and my roots which are just a lot more raw and. A, a bit more in touch with the jazz I grew up with and it's 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 an interesting process because I do feel a little more alone in yeah. the process which is which is different it's it's forcing me to really push myself in a way that um, I, I didn't have to before where you're always bouncing ideas off of somebody all the time right I'm kind of like in the room now for hours <laughs> just making music <laughs> it's um it's it's cool it's just it, you know it's a little scary too I trust me I completely understand that not on the music side of it but on the writing side of it mm -hmm. um so now when to, like growing up what was some of your most influential music because you you said you were kind of reverting back to the 40s and sort of that deck the deco recordings more or less is what I'm assuming yeah yeah my my dad had exposed me to a lot of incredible music growing up he was an amazing musician um okay. and uh so I you know grew up with all the the jazz giants and Sarah Vaughn and mm -hmm. Billie Holiday and Ella and a lot of Brazilian music mm -hmm. and I just, I loved how back then they didn't have to show off so much. It just was about just music. a beautiful voice mm -hmm. and, a, and a soothing sound that, you know, you just wanted to wrap yourself around. It wasn't as much about showing off your range and, you know, because we all go through that. When I was 16, I was belting out, you know, <laughs> Whitney Houston <laughs> songs all day long. Right. <laughs> but, um, but now I'm just really interested in making something beautiful. Um, so... Well, you're very successful at that, so I will say that. And I'm going to actually put you boys on the spot also. So I'll start with you. We're going left to right. So what would you say some of your bigger influences have been musically? Uh, where do you start? <laughs> I know. There are some major ones, especially yeah, in guitar. I, I mean, music, like musician-wise, I, I kind of consider myself more like a, like a music lover or listener more mm -hmm. than like a musician. So I kind of like, I mean, I basically, you know, played every single kind of music you know and I just like I started out with like rock yeah like punk rock heavy metal moved from there went to like jazz hip-hop um, R&B it's so I'm just kind of all over the map more or less that's good <laughs> that's what good music is supposed to be right yeah. we're supposed to like a little bit of everything yeah absolutely these guys so. can play anything <laughs> listen up everybody okay yeah, so Nick right. would oh, sorry did I cut you off I did not oh, mean no. to cut you okay um, <laughs> um <clears throat> 
listening to a lot of uh, Charlie Parker, oh, yeah. a lot of jazz, like older jazz, um, a lot of old soul. Been listening to a lot of Howard Tate lately. Mm -hmm. Really, really into old soul music. Um, and then also just, uh, you know, trying to learn about great songs. So I learned, you know, I'm just more into the idea of what makes a great song. So I'll just like pick something that I want from a tune and get really obsessed with learning that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I got like really obsessed with Jay Dilla and trying to learn about how to get that. Um, get really obsessed with, um, you know, uh, like obviously like the Beatles, but like the, I'll study like everything John Bryan did. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just kind of like, pick a thing and get really, really into it. So, so right now it's been, um, the last couple weeks have been, my girl just got me the original like uh, What's Going On on vinyl. So I started listening to that. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, so kind of everything. Okay. You're on the spot now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, mean, I grew up listening basically to like classic rock and different things in my teens found uh, you know soul music and funk rock pop kind of dabbled in a lot of different styles since then and studied them um, lately I've been for inspiration listening more to singers and stuff. even though I play percussion I listen a lot to vocalists mm -hmm. or other things lately I've been you know when I have time I listen to C Louis CK doing stand up that's been my big inspiration <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think we actually do. We have to take a break. We have to take a break. Um, but before we have one minute, right? No, right now. All right, we're gonna take a, our first break, you guys. So we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, this is your host, Don Garcia, on A Todd Radio, savoring life one moment at a time. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronandKellyLive.com. That's AaronandKellyLive.com. Check it out. This is Anthony Sykes, your host for Sykes Accounting and Consulting Radio Show, where we help small businesses grow and give you tax tips every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Catch us here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Thank you. We are the three guys every Monday live from 6 to 7 p.m. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855 69 3 guys. G U Y S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys <laughs> This segment has been brought to you by Coco Cafe. It's a cafe latte coconut water with espresso. And I came across this wonderful little drink just recently. And it has to be one of the best things I've ever had. I'm pretty obsessed with cocoa water and espresso. So the thought of it together was a little bit, I'm not, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. But my gosh, let me tell you, it's super tasty. It's made with natural coconut water, a strong shot of espresso, and a splash of reduced fat milk. You can visit them online for more information at drinkcococafe.com. Once again, I want to thank everyone at Coco Cafe for being a sponsor of this radio show. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. This is A Taste of Dawn. I'm your host, Dawn Garcia, and this is a show about indulging in this crazy thing we call life. So I just want to say really quick, some of the comments that just came in is somebody wrote, um, American Idol who? This is talent. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Um, I don't own a TV, so I don't know what that is. You're, you're <laughs> know what? Oh, you're Nicely so done. No one kidding. should know yeah. what that is. Actually, I'd like, I prefer the voice. I think that's a little more honest anyways. But um, 
So when we were off off the air, we were talking about just musical influence and like just what a span of of um everything from like you know Decca recordings all the way on to like classics like Zeppelin and the Beatles and everything like that and then all these little sort of I used to love the in, like the discovery of indie bands because I thought that was so fascinating to me that there was all this music out there that was just this wonderful sort of mesh of different music all coming together and it just you know I think now there's a big indie movement I think people prefer unique sound over formulaic stuff which is kind of nice so I think it's perfect timing for the new album to come out. <laughs> All right. So I will let you guys go ahead and carry us on to the next song. All right. Well, since it is Valentine's Day, yes. I have a, a little sweetie at, at home, at work. I guess he's working. He's a working man. Uh, then I wrote this little song with Patrick over here. He played some some nice guitar. Oh, la, la. And, uh, <laughs> and I ended up singing this for him as a little surprise uh, on our wedding wedding day, which was just about a month ago. I, congratulations, so. <laughs> by the way. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. And her first time trying meet again, people, so we're going to have that conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this has never been heard before by anyone. It's brand spanking new. All right. <laughs> a world debut. Mm-hmm. My sweet symphony My dream Everlasting to know I get to spend my life with you. There's nothing in the world that makes me happy, am I true? Oh, I love you. Io ci amo. I bask in all the kindness of your heart I never thought it possible to want a man to smash Oh, I love you Io ci amo Io ci amo treasure I can keep close to my soul how I'll hold on not letting go we're headed towards the sun tonight let's celebrate all the beauty we've become ooh She I just want to say like whenever when I heard that song that's I feel like that's one of those songs that you could listen to in the rain just under the covers or you know just to really 
kind of get you in the mood. That's a beautiful, sensual <laughs> song. So yay for your husband for inspiring that one. <laughs> yeah. And well done, Patrick. I think you just became a little little more sexy. <laughs> Stick with me, darling. That's right. <laughs> She'll be your wing woman, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we have a call. All right, we have a fan on line one. So you guys will be able to hear this as well. So let's... Hello, you're on the air. Oh, no. No, it's gone. Hello? Gone? All right. Uh, <laughs> fan that was just calling, you need to call us back. 855-693-4897. For those of you who don't know, please call us. Um, <laughs> we're okay with stalkers as long as they're harmless stalkers. Absolutely. Um, I've had to... We've, I've, I've had this discussion already, but I've had some very scary stalkers lately. Oh, we're back? Yes, okay. Let's see if we get this again. Yes, Alan? All right. Hello? Hello? Well, hello. I just was listening to your last song, and I loved it. Oh, this is for you guys. And what, what's your name? Rona. Hi, Rona. I'm going to let you talk to... Shauna right now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Rona. Oh, hello. I just thought that last song was absolutely fantastic. You guys are fantastic. Ah, oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. And, lo- and you all look great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rona, for calling in. And oh. keep keep watching, okay? They have a lot of songs coming. We will, certainly will. And make sure that you um, go check iTunes to purchase her brand new EP. That's out. LP, LP, EP, what do we call EP. it? EP. Okay. LP was back in the day. But um, <laughs> yes, make sure. And then I will make sure that I post everything also. If you're, are you on Facebook? Uh, no. No. Okay. Well, check, check the, um, the magazine anyways, <laughs> atodmagazine.com, <laughs> yeah. and I will have everything available for you okay. to look at. Okay. Thanks, great. Rona. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for calling. All right. Yay for Rona. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds very cute. She does sound very cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, go ahead and you can take us to the next song. I think we're good. All right. Um, I guess we'll keep it uh, romantic. Yes, please do. For all you lovers out there. Yes, it's a very romantic day. Um, Art of Obsession. Oh, Patrick brought his red pick. Ooh la la. You're just up in your sexy every second. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's a little flustered. It's the red pick. <laughs> right? <laughs> We have fun over yeah. here, just for the record. Yeah, I, wish I, had a mic right now. <laughs> I often forget my own lyrics, so you're allowed. I typed them in for good measure. Okay. Right. Obsession. Obsession. Drink, drink up a taste divine in every drop. I know I'm in love. Charlotte, don't say goodnight. Now I can hold my head up high. I know I fell in love. Oh, when you look at me. That way I move into what must be ecstasy. I pray this night so still, your soul's raining down on me. I fell in love. Teach me a lesson about the art of obsession. Oh, 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 I fell in love Settle down, feel the breeze What happened here is ours to keep I know I'm in love Standing still in your gaze These simple things can't be replaced I know Fell in love. Teach me a lesson about the art of obsession. Oh, 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 I fell in love. Oh, when. 
can you say to me you're basking in all the charm of my energy I say one night so still your soul's raining down on me I fell in love teach me a lesson I'm the art of obsession oh, 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 I fell in love Oh, teach me a lesson I'm by the art of obsession Oh, oh, oh I fell in love mm. going to sound like an old school radio host and say I hope that was good for all you lovers out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah right I need to have like I should get my porn voice on hello everybody um we're about to take another break it feels like it's going so fast so if you are listening please tune back in about two minutes and uh, we'll be back after this got it yes Thanks for tuning in. Once again, this is your host, Don Garcia, on A Todd Radio, savoring life one moment at a time. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronandKellyLive.com. That's AaronandKellyLive.com. Check it out. This is Anthony Sykes, your host for Sykes Accounting and Consulting Radio Show, where we help small businesses grow and give you tax tips every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Catch us here on RantRadioNetwork.com. Thank you. What's up, party people? We are Emix Radio. I'm DJ Juice. And I'm DJ Pac-Man. Are you guys ready for Emix Radio? Juice, what's up for Mondays? We have a lineup of DJs every single Monday to rock the house with us. When should people join us, Pac-Man? Make sure to join us every Monday at 9 p.m. to listen in on our DJs and the latest hot topics. If y'all want to listen to us, visit RantRadioNetwork.com. And call us at 855-693-4897 for requests or shout-outs. Let's go. Hi everyone, this is A Taste of Dawn. I'm your host, Dawn Garcia, and this is a show about indulging in this crazy thing we call life. All right, you guys, we are back on the air, interrupting my one Irish joke that's just too raunchy to tell on the air, so I can't. Not raunchy, just has bad words, and we're not allowed to do that, so... Not that we can't, but I choose not to. Um, so we are going to go ahead and do another song. So, Miss Shawnee, do you want to tell us what we're doing? Well... We'll do, we'll do this one for you Ooh, since la, la. Uh, <laughs> since you oh, discovered wait. us. Should first. I tell you? Should I tell them really quick before we do sure, this? Okay. Yeah. So so the reason they're here, I have to tell you, is complete manifest destiny, and I'm not a big believer in that. I like this, you know. I think that there are signs in life or whatever. But the first week of my show, I didn't have any guests, and I was really nervous. And then the second week, it was like just full immersion and I had one of my friends he came in he flew in from New York and he's a chef and I was getting ready to go on the air and I was in the bathroom doing my lipstick and for whatever reason I thought of you and I thought of bittersweet and I was like gosh it would be so awesome and I didn't even say it out loud it was just in my head it would be so amazing to have her on my show and then I did my show and then after the show was over an hour later I checked my phone and I get a text from Carol Sue so what's up Carol Sue I know you're watching us right now um (laughs) saying hey have you ever heard of Shauna Halligan from bittersweet and that was that and then she said you guys were going to be on the show and I was so excited and then of course you and I have talked a few times now and I'm just 
it's so funny to me because this music is it's really your voice that just drew me in. The music is all, like, I mean, all your music that has been arranged is always so beautiful, but it was just something that I feel like you kind of reached into my soul and I understood something so pure and beautiful when I listened to you. So it was an honor for me and I actually wrote so much. It inspired me to do so much of my own writing. Uh-huh. So I just have to tell you that that's an inspiration. Well, that's really nice. going to get all the clips in here. <laughs> 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 so <Jesus. laughs> you're welcome I know golly sorry <laughs> put you on the spot all right <laughs> all right well um yeah we're gonna have to drink wine and eat food together oh, we are so doing that yes <laughs> <laughs> I will see, never say no to food you. and alcohol <laughs> yes <laughs> and we're bringing and then we're bringing Patrick Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yes. Extra, We're keeping the smolder. We're keeping He'll the bring smolder his red, alive. His red pick will come. That's right. <laughs> I love pick. <laughs> love pick. Patrick and the love pick. That's a good name for a band, huh? And the P-I-M-P, Nick. Talk amongst, talk amongst yourselves, Patrick Bailey. We're getting a little bit clammed. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So... We're, we're going to do some old school here. Yes. It's called The Mating Game. Love it.
<laughs> we flipped it up a bit. You Ready did. Again. No, I love that <laughs> rendition, actually. <laughs> See, we're just we're just like winging it today, really. There's no script today. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that. Yeah, no, we're totally. Yeah, I, I try to be a little bit off the cuff on a regular basis. <laughs> I think I do better when I'm not like reading something and nervous that I'm forgetting something. However, before I forget, Jane Austen unscripted before I totally ruin that. And um, it is going to be at the Carol. Oh, see, I'm going to mess that one up already. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it it's is a great play. It is a great. Just it's going to be amazing, it. and it is uh, <laughs> sort of an ode to Valentine's Day. So, um, it's not really, but it's kind of going to give us a little anti-Valentine's Day love tonight. So, it's it's like a, yeah. And for those of you who have not seen Love Bites, you've got to go see this play. It is amazing. It's on Theater Row in Los Angeles. Go check it out. It was at the Elephant Theater Company. It's twenty bucks. Such a great performance. So much fun. It's like an ensemble cast. It's hysterical. There's eight eight different scenes, I think. So if you like plays, go check it out. Take your girl. She'll think it's great. Nick. You got to win some points. Yeah, I'm just I saying. Some, let me tell you something. I got some plans tonight. I'm not talking about tonight. If you do it tonight, then you're all in trouble. Do not make plans tonight. But if you did forget, just get the tickets. Um, and go to Vosges Chocolate, by the way. Get my favorite chocolate ever. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. Have you ever had that? The Oaxaca bar, dark oh. chocolate and chili. Mm. Bef- and b- I know we have to do another song, but I just have to say really quickly, thanks to Sahar mainly, because yesterday I got to preview the brand new Rolls Royce, by the way. Whoa. Which your music, just for you guys who are listening, if you are listening at Rolls, this is the music you need to have in yes. the commercials, because oh, yes. this <laughs> this is yes. what needs to play along no with that. The brand new car, the Wraith, it needs some mm-hmm. sexy yeah. music. It is the most beautiful car I've ever seen in my life really I, I thought the DV9 was my favorite and I just said no mm-mm, I found a new car it's beautiful making, making babies in the Rolls Royce oh, no yeah. it's, it is the making babies there are stars <laughs> on the top like actually inside the car ambiance it is beautiful so uh, yeah you, you, we, this so if you guys are listening honestly this is the music for those commercials so Rolls Royce David at Rolls Royce this is this is what you need to do. So <laughs> whoever is in charge of making that happen, this is the music. So, all right, there's there's that out of the way. So um, you can take us out. We have, yeah, we're good. We're good on time. So we can do another song before we have to take another break. All if you're right. ready. Yeah. You ready? We, um... We have, uh, speaking of anti-Valentine's Day, I <laughs> yes. thought I'd throw a little... Although we love the love. A but. little something in there that uh, if it wasn't for this... Um, this turmoil in my life. This song wouldn't have existed, and I wouldn't be able to write such beautiful love songs after. So, um, so you know, you gotta love. You, you gotta, gotta love her. a little bit of torture, I, I I, just to, so you can see the beauty and everything you have afterwards. <laughs> it's better to know that you can feel, regardless of if that ends up in a heartache or not. That's my opinion. It's better to feel something than nothing. Absolutely. So it's true. Yeah. Oh, I'm all for a little angst, and I think we have to have some. Some some stuff. Yeah, this one uh, I definitely um, wrote. It was kind of the first moment I think I took hold of my empowerment and what I what I needed to to really be a woman mm-hmm. and take yes. that and walk away with that. So here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be you my women new favorite, out there. Justified, too tired to fight. Not gonna play your foolish games with you tonight. I'm justified. Never meant to do you all or turn you off, babe. Maybe there's a reason for the pain. Now it's my turn to speak my mind, so listen closely. It's time for us to go our separate ways. I'm justified. 
it's time to fly. I'm gonna be what you believe. I can't succeed. I'm just a fan. The melody of lust and green can be mistaken for something of a different breed, my sweet. Finally feeling stronger than I ever had Because I realize the love I need is in me I'm just a fan It's time to fly Stop telling me I have to be what you perceive Melody for last and green can be mistaken for something of a different breed, my sweet. I'm finally feeling stronger than I ever had because I realize the love I need in me. I'm just a I've come alive Don't say to me I can't succeed You've lost your eyes Wow, that one actually made me cry a little bit <laughs> That's a good song I feel like the girl from the Knock and Rock All of a sudden I'm like, damn it, you found a song that got to me Oh, yeah, that totally got to me. All right, you guys, you just saw me cry. All right, well, off we go to our break. So thank you for that, and we will be right back. <laughs> Tuning in, once again, this is your host, Don Garcia, on A Todd Radio, savoring life one moment at a time. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m. right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronAndKellyLive.com. That's AaronAndKellyLive.com. Check it out. What's up, party people? We are Emix Radio. I'm DJ Juice. And I'm DJ Pac-Man. Are you guys ready for Emix Radio? Juice, what's up for Mondays? We have a lineup of DJs every single Monday to rock the house with us. When should people join us, Pac-Man? Make sure to join us every Monday at 9 p.m. to listen in on our DJs and the latest hot topics. If y'all want to listen to us, visit RantRadioNetwork.com. And call us at 855-693-4897 for requests or shout-outs. Let's go. We are the three guys every Monday live from 6 to 7 p.m. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's. The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen in. You never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS. G-U-Y-S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about what you guys <laughs> Hi everyone, this is A Taste of Dawn. I'm your host, Dawn Garcia, and this is a show about indulging in this crazy thing we call life. All right, you guys, we are back, and we are in our last um, bit of our show today, so they're going to actually do one more song, so I'm excited, but I want to say thank you again, and I'm going to get all lovey because I just got all emotional <laughs> from my the last song that she just played, um, but really, try and, I, I don't know, today, I think... It shouldn't just be one day, really. So if you actually have, if you have love or good stuff going on, find your passion in whatever you're doing. Don't just rely on a person to give it to you. You guys got to find your kind of find your inside self, and um, and that's why I think most people, including myself, this is why creative outlets are super important because it just gives you that freedom to soar and find your voice and not be afraid. I think it's a wonderful 
alter ego sometimes because I know that there's things that I write that there's no way I would actually be able to say and it helps a lot so whether it's music or art or just just being more open don't be afraid of that don't be afraid of yourself so if I can leave you with any little message today on Valentine's Day love yourself before you're worrying about loving anybody else so I'm preaching it right now <laughs> I, need get, I need like an amen or something in here <laughs> We are living life. To, oh, the don't don't take that, the don't take the that to the bank. Right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> can, we, can we cash in that phrase? Okay. So um, on a more fun and playful note. So we are going to have some, some, some spontaneous music right now. So, um, well, no, it could be planned or whatever. Yeah, so they're going to figure out what we're doing. But we just... <laughs> so we didn't have another one prepared, but we're gonna we'll just we'll do a little um Nan- I think I might Nancy have some Sinatra. wine while well, we do this. Yeah. Ooh, have little Nancy wine. Sinatra. Very nice. Yeah, we're well, having some some wine. We can't say the brand name, but let's just say cakes in the name. So, <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to the mm, cake wine right now. Yeah. yeah. Have a yeah. Okay. Oh <laughs> yes. That's some good know, stuff. <laughs> you just did, we just did an on air promo for you ready? Michelada. Oh. It's actually really No, it's it's beer. We have some here. Try one. Wow. We okay, we get that everything. fellas. We are yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they this is a product launch right now. So on the air. We'll get you a beer. So if you're listening out there, Mike, can you do a couple of beers and micheladas in a cup, please? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Service. <laughs> right here we go. We don't mess around here on the show. <laughs> There's a great taco place actually nearby. That's where I'm taking her after this. Oh, fabulous. Mole. If you guys want mole and good drinks, All let's right. go. We have a little afternoon delight. So. All right. <laughs> Another like kind style. of afternoon delight. Let's just clarify. <laughs> We're not having Taste that kind of afternoon it. delight. <laughs> Patrick and hello. <laughs> See, so Nick just brought that back around to a taste or not. Davey's just staying out of it. <laughs> All right. We'll do our song. We'll do our song. All right. So forgive us. We haven't played this you know, but we'll, we'll try now. <laughs> it's been, it's been yeah, many months. Oh, and thanks, Carol Sue, one more time, and Ocean Park Music Group and Harold Kane. You are Pimp Daddy Kane, for those of you who don't know that out loud. Now everybody knows. Okay. <laughs> I was five and he was six We rode on horses made of sticks He wore black and I wore white He would always win the fight Bang, bang, you shot me down Bang, bang I hit the ground, bang, bang, that awful sound, bang, bang. My baby shot me down. Seasons came and changed the time when I grew right up back home. He would always laugh and say, remember when we used to play? Bang, bang, you shot me down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. Bang, bang, that awful sound. Bang, bang, my baby shot me down. Just for me, the church bells rang. Now he's gone, I don't know why. Until this day, sometimes I cry. He didn't even say goodbye. He did not take the time to lie. Bang, bang, he shot you down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. Bang, bang. That awful sound, bang, bang My baby shot me down (laughs) 
Bang, bang, you shot me down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. Oh, oh my baby shot me down. Bang, bang, you shot me down. Bang, bang, I hit the ground. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. <laughs> right? <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> See, this is we we like the reality of all of this. <laughs> this is the raw for it was the wing in it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, you guys. So we have five minutes left. And um, is there anything that you have that you would like to tell everybody about? Well. To put you on the spot. I know you mentioned your album. Please, you know, like me on Facebook. I'm very yes. likable. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me give you. Actually, so fa and go to um, Shauna Halligan. So that's S-H-A-N-A-H-A-L-L-I-G-A-N.com. Mm -hmm. Make sure mm -hmm. you guys are following her and the site and the band. And um, let me pull up. Is it just Shauna Halligan on Backslash? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're on Facebook, for those of you who I know you're on Crackbook. Um, the band page. Yes. Thing. Yes. So <laughs> that is, uh, it's actually Facebook.com and then Shauna Halligan. So that's, again, that's capital S-H-A-N-A, -A, capital H-A-L-L-I-G-A-N. Please make sure you guys fan her and just follow everything that's happening. And I'll keep you in the loop as well because... I'm going to be wherever you guys play next. I cannot wait. Mm -hmm. And then you guys keep me up to date, too, on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, Davey, you're going somewhere to play today. What are you doing today? I'm going to do a super secret recording after today that I'm not allowed to talk about on the air. Uh, oh. yeah. yeah, so I'm glad I didn't actually say any names out loud because I almost did. So, no? Okay, so we have a super secret recording. And then what's on your docket? Uh, I'm the musical director of a nightclub in Hollywood called The Sayers Club. Oh, I've so heard about tonight this. Tonight we're doing, uh, every Thursday we have a really great show. We have lots of singers and do a house band. Um, really, really a great show. And um, my my boss, and this guy Jason Scopa, curates it and created the club. And um, we're going, so we have a special Valentine's session tonight. Ooh, so really, okay, really so go. go if you, is it open uh, till to the public? Not, yeah, it is not, so never mind. Not never mind. Uh, but if you already know about it and you know uh, one of the people to say their names of, Okay. Go dress correct. Use my Just name. Just say my name. Quiet. Say my name. Say my <laughs> name. No, okay. <laughs> right? We need to bust out a little Beyonce. There we go. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, and Patrick, what's on your docket? Today, um, I'm actually creating, curating an event at my house. <laughs> I'm going to do, I got a bunch of Wheel of Fortune on my DVR. That's <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. Let me problems. just tell you right now that I, I yeah. every night, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Let me tell you. And the sad part is, is when they had the kids on, I was like, every one I got. So apparently I need to be high school level, and then I'll win. Um, <laughs> um, so what was the other thing that I was going to say? Oh, so I need to go. We need to talk. Because I'm doing an event at Port Vue, and I'm trying to start doing these really uh -huh. cool events all throughout L.A. It's uh -huh. some really interesting. I do love the Houston brothers. We, we all love the Houston brothers. Yes. It would be impolite not to say that because they have the coolest clubs, Johnny. and they are the nicest guys. Do Johnny, Mark, you guys love, rock. Love you guys. Do you hear that? <laughs> you rock. You rock. Um, so, yeah, so stay tuned, actually. Port Vue, uh, I'm working with Scott right now, so we are looking at March 6th for the date, and we are looking for music. Mm -hmm. 
Hi. Just for the record. <laughs> so lots of music. Lots we need to music. talk. Uh, we need to talk. Um, so, anyways, you guys, I want to say Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. And my Valentine is actually my six-year-old daughter. So, mm. to Barcelona, you rock. Super you are sweet. my girl. Woo. Greatest little gift I've ever been given in my mm. whole life. So, um, and I have to say Happy Valentine's Day to my wonderful assistant because Alexis is amazing, mm. and she is um, really a gift to me. So I know I don't. I'm totally making you embarrassed, but that's okay. You're not even on the camera. You should get on the camera. Can I make you red on the camera? She has a very Her, cute yeah, she outfit. She has a really on. cute outfit. You guys got to see us. Okay, like we're like we're retro. Okay, there you go. We're very matchy matchy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, so everybody out there, just uh, pay attention to what these folks are doing in front of me. Not at the moment, but pay attention to their music and <laughs> and make sure you go out and buy the the um, the EP because clearly Paper I'm a little bit behind on the LP EP situation. That's just you know, Alan thought that was hysterical. Um, but yes, so I will make sure that we put the links up on that as well and visit the. It's, everything's on the Facebook page as well on your Facebook page, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to add? Oh, what are you doing tonight? Are you allowed to say uh-huh. what you're doing tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm just having okay. a. Do we have a second to do that? Do we have a minute? Okay, quick. Uh, it was one year ago that my sweetie said I love you. So, you know, he said oh, it on Valentine's Day last good year. Good man. Cute. Way to make it memorable, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to just have a nice little romantic dinner and mm-hmm. snuggle up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sh- <laughs> Shanna, or Shauna, sorry. Your mm-hmm. husband says happy Valentine's Day and he can't wait to see you tonight. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good man. Aww, You're putting every other man to sweet. shame right now. <laughs> and then, no, no, Nick just gave me the eye. Okay, quick. You got 30 <laughs> seconds. Do it. Quick, quick. We're just doing a really, really fancy dinner with some surprises. I'll just say this. Last time we, I did dinner for her, I had private mu- musicians come play for her favorite hip-hop music she liked at a private cabana for dinner. I've been known to go a little bit crazy. Can you Smoke spread the word to Smoke the other mirrors. fellas out there? Because, you know, all the men out there, by the way, thought I had plans. So never when they assume, said, don't, don't assume, know, assuming, assuming is the worst. Free. Yeah, Gen- seriously, you guys. Never As- assume. Never. Assuming is the worst thing that you could possibly do. See, I love that. Well, I'm unattached, so really every day would be a first date. But (laughs) 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 all right. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It has been the greatest. This is this is the best part of my job. So Uh, thanks thanks for for having having us. It was such a pleasure. It really was. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody out there. (laughs) Bye. We're gonna get out of this heater. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. (laughs) This is your host Don Garcia on Todd Radio, savoring life one moment at a time. Welcome, everybody. I'm Dawn Garcia of Atod Magazine, and this is my brand new show, A Taste of Dawn, where we'll talk about everything related to savoring life. You can catch me on rantradionetwork.com every Tuesday and Thursday from noon to one, where we're going to discuss food and wine, arts and entertainment, music, travel, leisure, and anything in between.